Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject is Math 4, Quarter 1, Week 4, Milk Base. Let's learn about Solving problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. Lesson 2 After going through this module, you are expected to solve routine and word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies. Hello kids! Today, we are going to study about solving problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. Let's start our lesson by doing the following activities. Learning Task 1 Read and analyze the problem. Answer the following questions. Shane made 80 Sampagita garlands. Each garland cost 15 pesos. If she sold all the Sampagita garlands, how much will she earn for the garlands? Let's answer the following question. Letter A. What is S? Correct! How much will she earn for garlands? Letter B question. What are the given facts? Correct! The given facts are 80 Sampagita and 15 pesos each garland. Letter C question. What operation will be used? Correct! The operation will be used is Multiplication Letter D question Write the number sentence The number sentence is 80 times 15 equals N To solve routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate strategies and tools follow these steps Letter A Understand Number 1 what is as in the problem? 2. What are the given facts? Letter B. Plan Number 3. What is the operation to be used? Number 4. What is the number sentence? Letter C. Solve Number 5. Use the operation to solve Letter D. Check and look back Number 6. Write the correct answer Non-routine problems can be solved without using a standard procedure. They can be solved by drawing a picture, using a number line, acting out, making a table, and other techniques. And now, let's move to learning task 2. Solve the problems using the steps on solving word problem. Aldrin bought 12 boxes of biscuits. Each box contains 125 pieces of biscuits. How many biscuits does he have? Letter A. Understand. Number 1. What is as in the problem? Correct. The number of biscuits. Number 2. What are the given facts? Correct. The given facts are 12 boxes of biscuits and 125 pieces of biscuits in each box. Letter B, plan. What is the operation to be used? Correct. The operation to be used is multiplication. Number 4, what is the number sentence? Correct. The number sentence is 125 times 12 equals N. Letter C. Solve. Use the operation to solve. The operation to solve is 125 times 12 equals 1,500. Letter C. Check and look back. Write the correct answer. So the correct answer is 1,500 biscuits. Aldrin have 1,500 biscuits. 
Learning Task 3 Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. The membership fee of Math Club is 25 pesos. What is the total amount paid by 1,252 members? Letter A, 31,250. Letter B, 31,252. Letter C, 31,230. And letter D, 31,300. What is the correct answer? Correct! The answer is letter D, 31,300. Number 2. There are 85 cans of milk in a box sold at 13 pesos each can. What is asked in the problem? A. Number of cans of milk. B. Amount of 85 cans of sardines. Or C. Amount of 85 cans of milk. What is the correct answer? Correct! The answer is Letter C. Amount of 85 cans of milk. Number 3. Pen Pen supplies 10 dozens of eggs a day to a store. How many eggs does he supply to the store in 2 weeks? A. 240 eggs B. 20 eggs C. 200 eggs What is the correct answer? Correct! The answer is Letter A. 240 eggs Number 4 A fruit vendor ordered 7 boxes of oranges each box contained 15 oranges. How many boxes of oranges were ordered by the vendor? What is asked in the problem? Letter A, number of fruit vendors. Letter B, number of oranges. Or letter C, number of boxes. What is the correct answer? Correct! The answer is letter C, number of boxes. Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Remember, to solve routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers, including money, using appropriate strategies and tools, follow these steps. A. Understand. First, what is us in the problem? Second, what are the given facts? Letter B, plan. Third, what is the operation to be used? Fourth, what is the number sentence? Letter C, solve. Fifth, use the operation to solve. Letter D, check and look back. Sixth, write the correct answer. Non-routine problems can be solved without using a standard procedure. They can be solved by drawing a picture, using a number line, acting out, making a table, and other techniques. Kids, I hope you like this video. Until our next topic, bye-bye! Thanks for watching!